Hello guys, I'm Draco and welcome to Dracoverse. Today's deck is going to revolve around a rickety bridge. After each turn, if there is more than one card here, destroy them. And this is not only in your side, but it counts your opponent's side as well. Meaning, if you have one card on rickety bridge, and if your opponent plays another card on this location, both the cards are going to get destroyed. It is not a Tuma-like effect. So that actually cost me about... 12 cubes because i do not understand how this location worked so hope you guys can rectify from my mistakes and learn from my mistakes do not make this mistake with riggedy bridge also on the final game that you're going to be seeing today i showcased the best deck to play on riggedy bridge which my opponent was playing and it was actually actually nuts Hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys tomorrow with another wonderful video. Until then, signing off. Track of us. We are facing off against the real person. And we do start with the new location, a rickety bridge. So after each turn, if there is more than one card here, destroy them. So you want to be actually going or like magneto here or like arrow here so that they lose this location completely so let's go for armor in the middle which is actually insanely insanely strong there is a lizard okay if i get my polaris okay i can actually polaris here that's warm air hmm. okay let's go for cosmo in the middle again so that's deadlock okay and that is my cosmo which i am okay with Let's go for this one in here and then let's go for uh, Maximus in here. So if he wants to contest this location, he's not going to be able to. He's literally, literally not going to be able to because we can go ahead and play our Polaris and stuff. Like if he plays a card here, he loses. 100% of the time. Okay, that is Killmonger. And that is Maximus. So we are winning this location. We are winning this. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go for... Yeah, I'm going to go for Arrow in the middle, you know. Like, that's 7, 7, 14. Uh, they don't have on reveal. Like, this is like... This is like guaranteed win, right? Yeah, this is like guaranteed win. I think I can snap off of this. Yeah, I think I can snap off of this. I say I can snap off of this because... I am going to pull their Deathlock and Killmonger here, which is going to destroy them and it's going to win me the game. So he, I think if he puts power into this location, he wins. But other than that, I think we have a good chance of uh, winning. So let's go for this one right in here. And uh, if he, okay, if he goes for um, a Magneto, okay, if he goes for Magneto here, I think we will lose. And uh, let's see, let's see where this uh, takes us to. Maybe it was better to play my Polaris uh, for pulling the Lizard into this location and then play something else. So that is Hobgoblin which is gonna get destroyed or not. Oh wow, okay. It's not gonna get destroyed, I see. I'm shocked. I am shocked but is that a win? That is not a win, right? That is not a win. Oh my god, I did not know. I did not know how rickety bridge worked. After each turn, if there is more than one card here, destroy them. So it doesn't matter if you have, like, it's a total. Oh my god, I thought Magneto was a genius play on that location. I was totally wrong. I was totally, totally wrong with that. And that cost me four cubes. Be careful when you do this, guys. Rickety bridge is a location that is really really tough to play around it's it's really really tough to play around i thought it was like a tumor but instead it's a tumor generally for both you and your opponent uh we are facing off against a chibi eight and we have danger room so i'm just gonna go for ice man right there yeah i feel like danger room ice man is like it's okay if my ice man dies i don't mind it just just uh two power going down the drain and then i think i want to play my lizard in the middle or in the rightmost location for uh, maximizing the power okay that is ant-man hmm he might be actually playing ongoing deck so let's see 
let's go for this one right in here yeah we have to be we have to be uh, ahead on board no matter what uh, wait he's wait a minute he did not play anything that's nidvalier um i'm gonna sh yeah i'm gonna play my cosmo here so that i can shang chi this on the final turn if i want to so we are ahead of uh, them and uh, we can actually go for arrow on nidvalier and then on the final turn we can go for shang chi like because they have a good chance of playing professor x so if they do play professor x it is better for us to go for uh, arrow on turn five rather than any other thing so that is cosmo that is mr fantastic okay let me actually go for maximus in the middle yeah let me go for maximus in the middle so i think he's gonna go for like warpath or something like that's captain america okay uh-huh uh-huh so let's go for uh, arrow. Let me snap here, okay? Let me snap here and then let's go for arrow. So I probably think what he's gonna do is he's gonna play as Professor X or he's gonna play another card like somewhere. So, okay. Okay, that is the snag. Amazing. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. That is armor, which is alright with respect to what? armor with respect to cosmo okay 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 mm -hmm. so on the final turn i don't think i can go for uh white like if i want i can go for white queen into armor which is like okay but i feel like it is better uh to go for something like magneto right about oh no no there's no on reveal right here there's no on reveal that's one that's two, that's three. What if I just go for Magneto? I feel like he's gonna play his Destroyer here, okay? I think he's gonna play his Destroyer. So I go for Magneto here, and if he plays his Destroyer here, uh, these cards are destroyed, so I think I have a good chance of winning. So let's go for that. Or is he gonna go for Spectrum? He is gonna go for Spectrum in the middle. But uh, let us just pull those cards right about him here. And am I gonna get hit? Am I gonna get hit? No, we are not. And on reveal is not gonna happen. And we win two locations, time one location. That's three four cubes. We are facing off against a Twang. And uh, let's go for Sunspot in the middle. And I probably think we can just go for something like Arrow into White Queen and stuff like that. Okay, Dream Dimension. I love Dream. I love myself some Dream Dimension. So. I think I'm gonna go for Lizard in the middle. Yeah, let's go for Lizard in the middle. I'm okay with that. That's Colossus. Okay, once again, I feel like he's playing... Oh, that is Vault. Oh, man, I hate Vault. I hate this location. I actually despise this location. Mm -hmm. That is Cosmo, which is actually really, really good for us. Cosmo is like seriously, seriously good for us. Uh, let's go for okay. Yes, so that is destroyer. Okay. 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 I feel like he's gonna play. Uh, I'm okay with this. I feel like he's gonna play his destroyer here no matter what. So let's go for um, Maximus right about in here, which is gonna lock this location down and which is gonna help us win this location a hundred percent of the time. And that is armor. Wait, what? Why do I feel like he's gonna play his destroyer here? Is it better to actually go for Magneto here, which is gonna pull Mr. Fantastic and Cosmo to this location, probably winning me this location? Yeah, I feel like I feel like I can re-snap, right? I can snap and then I can just in turn. Since we have the priority, since we have the priority, I think we are gonna reveal first. And uh, yeah, I think I think we are good right now. I think we are good right now. Even if he goes for spectrum, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Those two go right there. Nice. 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 That is destroyer. Wait, I'm shocked that he went for destroyer on this location rather than this one. 
but I will stay, uh, still take the win because of uh, Maximus and White Queen on the vault location. We are facing off against the real person on Sinister's London. So we can go for armor with respect to Maximus, with respect to Arrow, and then we can go for Magneto, which actually I think wins me some games. But let's see, that is Stark Tower, that is Sinister's location, so uh, Sinister's London. Like, this location is just so much fun. I'm not even joking, it is. It is insane. The amount of stuff that this location just can put out is absurd. So that's Warrior Falls. Okay, I'm gonna go for... Yeah, I'm gonna go for Maximus right about in here. I don't mind it. I can just go for like Magneto on Warrior Falls, which might win me the game. So I'm still okay with that. Nice, nice. That is Zabu. Okay. Mm. I want to go for Cosmo here actually. I seriously, seriously want to go for Cosmo here. So whatever card he plays here does not have on reveal, which I think is big. Because he's gonna be trying to pull some Spider-Man into Absorption Man stuff. So yes, let's go with that. Let's go with that. That is Bass. Okay. And that is Ironheart, which does not rock. Which is just amazing. And I think I can snap off of this. I feel like I can actually snap off of this. And he did retreat because we went for Cosmo. And that helped us by a lot. And I feel like he's going for Silver Surfer deck. So being able to do something like this is just broken versus Silver Surfer deck. We are facing off against uh, a real person. We start with Murder World. So let's go for Iceman right there. And uh, let's see what that is. Wait, that's Squirrel Girl. Okay, uh, he's playing. We need leader to win this matchup because he is playing Carnage into uh, stuff. Mm hmm. I'm gonna go for. Nah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna skip turn two. Do I do? Nah, let's go for this one. Yeah, let's go for this one right here. That is Bucky Barnes. Okay. Uh huh. I would love a Polaris here. I would actually love a Polaris here. So let's... Okay. Let's go for... Do I go for Sunspot or nah? Let's go for Maximus in the middle. That is Yondu, which destroys my Shang-Chi, which I am okay with. He's gonna keep going for his... Uh, he's gonna keep going for his... Uh, uh, Yondu plays over and over again. So we just need to draw our leader to win the game. Uh, if we draw our leader, like, we are in such an amazing spot. Uh, you know what? Let's actually go for, yeah, let's go for White Queen. Shall we? That is Killmonger, okay, which I'm okay with 100%. And then, uh, yes. Oh, he has Moon Girl, I see. I see. Uh, he is... Okay, he has priority, so I'm just gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do this. Okay, let's do this. So we just need our leader. If we get our leader, we win. But if we don't get the leader, we are in such a bad spot. Because what he's gonna do is, he's gonna play his moon girl this turn. He's gonna have She-Hulk into uh, death. So that is Yondu, which hits my arrow, which I'm completely, completely okay with. And that is my... Okay, that's Moon Girl. Let's go. Mm -hmm. That is Leader. That is Leader, right? Yeah. So we are already winning this location. Okay, we are already winning this location no matter what. Hmm. So that's 9, 10, 11. So I think I play my Leader here since he has only one spot here. So this is going to be 12 and then this is going to be a win and then this is going to be a loss is uh, my honest answer. I'm not going to snap because I need the two cubes. So let's go for this. That is death with respect to okay. So that is death lock which does not hit us. So it's Maximus into Lizard winning us two locations and let's go for the cubes. This is the one good thing about playing a uh, dream dimension you know. Playing on dream dimension because you can hide your cards. And then you would know what is coming towards you. Oh, we are facing off against Artella. So let's go for uh, 
Iceman on uh, Cloning Walls, which is actually pretty good. And a Sunspot, okay. So he's going to be playing a Sunspot repeatedly. A Riggedy Bridge, I think I am going to go for... Um, let's go for Armor on the rightmost location, shall we? Yeah, because if he is going to play a card here, right? If he is going to play a card here, I'm going to give up on this location. This location is a lost cause. That is Limbo, amazing. Huh. Okay, let's let's go for armor, shall we? Let's go for armor here. Why not? That is Bucky Bonds, perfect. And that is Sunspot, amazing. Yeah, and uh, I think I can... Uh, I think I can go for uh, Polaris right about in here, right? I can go for Polaris right here, and then I can... Yeah, I think I can go for Polaris right there. Pulling whatever card he plays right there to this location, yes. Okay. Electro. I'll take Electro, fine. Fine by me. A turn 5. I'm gonna go for Armor... Uh, sorry, Arrow here to pull whatever card he's gonna play to this location, which is just... It's just huge for us. Uh, let's see what our opponent has in store for us. Because on the final turn, oh nice, oh nice. That's is that Professor X, brother? That is Doctor Octopus, which is gonna pull my. I I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's go for Magneto here. Oh, let's go for Magneto right there. Yeah, let's go for Magneto right there. So we need to win this location no matter what. Um. Mm -hmm. That's Magneto, that is Chavez, okay. Okay. What if, what if I go for my Lizard in here? Or what if I go for Iceman in here and then my, um, my Magneto here? Because I feel like he is going to be playing a card here and then he's going to be playing his Chavez probably in the middle. And then he's going to be playing another card here. So we need to win this location as much as possible. And uh, even though we are losing this location, it's only by three. It is only by three. So yeah, I feel like I can re-snap. I don't mind losing eight cubes. So let's go with that. Yes. And even if he just plays in this location, we are still going to be winning this location because of Iceman. And okay, yes, yes, yes. So what is this? That is Bucky Bonds. Oh no, no! He played me. He played me. Oh my god! I feel like what deck my opponent is playing is the best deck for. Uh, yeah, I feel like it is literally the best deck for uh, uh, Reedy Bridge. You play your Bucky Bonds, you play your Dr. Octopus, which actually almost always wins you Rickety Bridge on the final turn, and it also gives them 8 cubes. Wow. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you guys tomorrow with another wonderful video. Rickety Bridge is an uh, annoying, annoying location, so be careful when you play this location, guys. See you guys tomorrow with another wonderful video. Until then, signing off. Backwards.